Dr. Bob, this is a video I posted a few years ago, and it was one of the most controversial videos everywhere that I ever posted. And, you know, the medical establishment really went crazy. I got a lot of negative comments about this. Uh, a lot of people who loved that medical doctors really were upset about it. They demanded I would take it down. YouTube got a lot of complaints. I know some people, they posted these complaints. They reported me to YouTube and uh, they didn't ask me to take it down, but they totally demonetized it and they hid it. That's what they, that's the biggest crime. They, you know, you couldn't find it in the search engine. You couldn't find the video. It's there, but it's not really there. So anyway, here we go again. I put it in my book, uh, The Cure in the Mirror. But this is 20 commandments of the medical establishment because why not 10 commandments? Well, because they're twice as good as nature. Enjoy. The 20 commandments of the medical establishment because we're twice as good as nature. You shall not suggest there is any cure for disease that might be found in nature or that derives from a natural source. When you cannot find any possible source and or reason for a disease, then it shall be labeled genetically inherited using the term family history. Cures can only be found in pharmaceutical drugs, chemotherapy, radiation treatments, and other medical treatments and therapies developed by medical researchers. You shall align yourself with the pharmaceutical industry. You shall align yourself with the Food and Drug Administration. Insurance companies pay our astronomically high bills since the average person could never afford our services. Therefore, you shall align yourself with the health insurance industry. You shall never speak ill of any effort by the medical industry to cure disease even if it is a complete failure and actually causes harm. Vaccinations are the holy grail of infectious diseases. You must demand that they are mandatory and insist they rid the planet of infectious disease. Anti-vaxxers will be denied all medical treatment, including emergency slash trauma services. All chronic disease will have fundraising lobbies behind them and all monies raised from these efforts shall be dedicated to the research of finding a cure for these diseases. The footnote on this says, except for administrative costs, which may use most of the monies raised. Medical students shall receive little or no training in nutrition. Medical costs must remain astronomically high and must be raised annually regardless of whether they are justified or not. Medical doctors shall not be subjected to questioning on their treatments and methods from non-medical personnel including their own patients. Medical doctors shall remain arrogant, aloof, and inaccessible in order to give them the patina of absolute authority. Medical doctors shall suggest to their patients that they should improve their diet and exercise and give no specificity as to what this actually means. Remember our motto, de menet incerta et santis exhibitus. Remain vague regarding issues of health. If a patient asks their medical doctor about a natural supplement or trying a healthier diet to stop the disease they have been diagnosed with, said doctor should reply that they are to change nothing in their diet and absolutely take no natural supplements that may interfere with the medication they have been prescribed. Pharmaceutical drugs do not interfere with the function of natural substances. Natural substances interfere with the function of pharmaceutical drugs. When a patient is not cured, their symptoms are not abated or they die, the fault is with the patient and not with the prescribed treatment. If a patient is found to have cancer, the only possible course of treatment is chemotherapy, designated drugs, or radiation. If said patient questions this treatment, or the philosophy behind using them, then said patient must immediately be told that they need to get their head right regarding these treatments or they will not be treated at all if this kind of attitude persists. If a commonly performed surgery, such as back surgery, has an extremely low success rate, continue to perform that type of surgery as though the success rate is at an acceptable level. 
And last but not least, primum non nocere, first do no harm. This commandment is currently under review and is subject to change and or redaction. A lot of people in the medical establishment, uh, nurses and especially doctors, were really upset. They were really insulted by this video. I think they take themselves way too seriously to want to know the truth. Anyway, over the last couple of years, I have really been demonetized. My videos have been hidden so you can't see them. So if you can subscribe and like and share this video and put your comments below, I really want to hear from them. Helps me out a lot. Helps me with the algorithms. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time. Check out all my books on audible.com.